Hi, in this week's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Whoop from Whoop. I'll tell you what's in the box, and I'll also tell you how over the last few months, it's helped to improve my fitness, my training, as well as my recovery, and it's even helped to improve my sleep. I'll also tell you why I sent my first Whoop back, and then regretted it and ordered another one. And I'll even tell you how you can save some money on your Whoop subscription as well in the video. So let's go back to few months ago, me, for the unboxing part. So we'll open the main box first. And then in here you've got, oh, interestingly, so you've got some instructions here, setup guide. You've got the strap it comes with. And I may have made a small error here. So let's put that strap there. You've also got the battery, let's turn that over, and then I've got the power lead here. So this charges the battery. Where I could have saved myself some money is with this. So I actually <laughs> didn't realize. So I, I, I kind of bought another band. I saw this and I liked it, and it was about $50 more. And what I hadn't realized was that it actually comes with the band. Let's get this out. I like the pattern on that one. <laughs> And then this, the strap is very slightly different. I may have wasted my money because this is this is what, what you get normally. So this is perfectly fine and looks so similar to this one that I should have perhaps saved my money on that extra $50, never mind. Let's just put my new fancy band on so that, I'm doing this for a camera lens. So it's probably a lot easier there we are, it's in. And then these just clip on here. Good to go. And that's after I've charged it because it's arrived completely flat. I've been using the Whoop now for a couple of months and it's a very good and accurate device for telling you how much strain you've taken on during the day. So that might just be from day to day activities like mowing the grass or it could be from an intensive hit workout. And at the end of the day, it gives you a strain score and you then go to bed and then it tells you, it can tell you when you should go to bed and then it will tell you the next morning how well you've recovered based on what you did the day before and also how well you've slept and it will give you a strain target for the next day. And by that I mean if you've had a really big day yesterday, a really terrible night's sleep, your recovery will be poor so it may well suggest a rest day. If you've had a light day, a really great night's sleep, then it might suggest the next day that you really go for something beyond what you would normally do activity-wise. And this is really important to me, especially as I get older. In my 20s, I got quite out of shape. So I wasn't really looking after myself. I was drinking a bottle of wine a night. I was in a job I hated. I'd come home, open a bottle of wine, drink that throughout the evening. And as a lifelong asthmatic, asthmatic it kind of hit a crunch point at 30 where I had six life-threatening asthma attacks over the course of eight weeks, each one leaving me weaker than the previous one had left me. Uh, it meant that I couldn't really go to work for a while, so I had to kind of look at something else, and I changed my lifestyle around so that I became a landlord essentially, meaning that I didn't have to commit to a nine to five job to earn money, but more importantly, and more relevantly to this, it meant that I could spend more time on my health and well-being. And at almost 50 in a few months, I feel fitter than I did when I was 25. I don't feel quite as fit as I did when I was 40. And what I hadn't realized is over the course of the last few years, I've actually been overtraining and fatiguing myself. Something that I didn't, didn't anticipate would happen, but I think as we naturally get older, we perhaps haven't got as much in the tank as we thought we did, and that's that's as a result, I was getting I'm getting more tired than I used to get. So with this little fella, it means I can perfectly balance my daily strain compared to my recovery and how well I've slept. Let's look at the data. So I'm gonna start with today, and this is my home page. So on here you can see I've had a 77% recovery from last night. And I've already worked out this morning, I've had a 15.1 strain day. And if we look down here, you, you can see that's made up of 11.9 from running. I did some weight training, I also did some yoga, and I've also got a sleep score down there, which I'll go into in a moment. So 
where it says optimizing performance, it says you've passed your optimal strain. So this has given an indication now that I should not do much more for the day, I should rest. So yesterday I had a strain day of 14.7, and if we look here, it says between 14 and 17.9 is considered strenuous. My average heart rate I can see there, as well as how many calories I burned, along with my previous strain, strains for different days. And if we change it to six months, you can see that my strain has very gradually increased over the last few months. And if we take a look at recovery, you can see from the day before I was 92% recovered and you get some really good data here. Now this is your kind of readiness, readiness score, your HRV. And if you look, you can see yesterday I hit 40, which was my best ever. And if we compare over the last six months, you can see that it's gone from 27 to 28, now up to an average of 32. So my readiness score keeps improving since I've been using the WHOOP. If I look at my heart rate, I can see that my average heart rate, sorry, my resting heart rate is actually dropping. Not by a huge amount, but that's an indication that I'm getting fitter and fitter as well. And you also get some really good sleep data. You can see here that my performance is 86%. On the left, you can see the hours of sleep that I had compared to the sleep needed, but it's still giving me an optimal sleep score, which I'm pleased about. When I deep dive into my sleep data, you can see that I was awake for 6% of the night. 62% uh, of my sleep was light sleep. And then you can see my deep sleep as well as my REM sleep. It also gives you some good data down the bottom here, how many times an hour I woke up, my sleep efficiency, and my respiratory rate whilst I was asleep. Now, the screen I use most is this one, which is the overview screen, and you get some really good data here. So you can look at your health metrics, and it measures your respiratory rate, blood oxygen levels, resting heart rate, your HRV, as I've mentioned, and also your skin temperature, which is a really good indicator if you're getting ill as well. Uh, as well. And these are my workouts for today. The first thing I did yoga and if we look at where we are within my zones I mean it's not very active yoga is it, it was quite a restorative session uh, I then did some weights and this has given me good data I spent most of my time in zone three as well as some time in zone four and if we go to my running this was the most active of the day and these were intervals as you can see here by the way it's tracking my heart rate going up and down and I spent 23 minutes, 80 to 90% of my max heart rate, which is nine minutes more than I would normally. Um, but I'm still in zone four for the vast majority of the workout, which is where I wanted to be. There's also a new feature, which is a stress monitor. And you can see that I'm medium here, but let's look at the data. So here I am all asleep. So this is low stress. At this point, my alarm went off. <laughs> and then uh, this is when I started working out. So as... I've worked out there's been peaks and troughs here to my stress levels, but most importantly, although it says I'm medium stressed, I can look down and see that my, elevated, my stress is actually elevated from the exercise I've done and not through being stressed. And you can also see, so, so far based what I've done today, uh, the coaching part of the app tells me that I really should be going to bed at 21.50 to get eight hours, 10 minutes in bed if I wanna get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, which is my normal wake up time. And I'm back again. I appreciate that there's a lot of data there. And it was a little bit overwhelming for me at first. And I kept looking at the app when I first bought the Whoop and then I decided that it wasn't for me. And I sent it back thinking to myself, do I really need all this data? I mean, I'm fairly fit and healthy anyway. Is it for me? So I sent it back and then I immediately missed it. So I ordered another one. So if you've looked at the data there and thought, yeah, that's great, but it's a bit overwhelming, then you will probably have like a, 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 like a bedding in period of about a week until you get your head around the data. And then you will find within that, in that, because I've shown you everything, that there are certain metrics that really speak to you and they're the ones that you might like to improve on. I want to have a really good HRV, a really good heart rate variability, because I want to feel alert and ready, and I want that indication that I'm getting fitter or staying fit. One thing I really like about the Whoop is you don't really have to take it off. It's just there. It's very unintrusive. Unintrusive, if you can see, it's a lot smaller than my watch. The only time I take this off is just to clean it. So once a week, it, you can get a little bit of a build up. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> and when you charge it, uh, you just put the battery on. So the battery clips on like that, 
and then that's charging. I tend not to leave the house like this because it looks like I've got like I've been tagged by the enforcement enforcement services. Um, and you can see how it's charging just by tapping it. A little light comes on to show you how much charge is in there. And then once it's charged, you just take that off and then you just charge this. One thing I have noticed is the battery life in the Whoop isn't quite as good as Whoop say it is. So they claim that you can get up to five days battery life from your Whoop. Maybe because I'm quite an active person, so it's measuring quite a lot of things. Uh, it doesn't last five days. I find I need to charge this every three days, but I just have um, a reminder on my email, just Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just put this on for um, half an hour or so. When it comes to pricing, I think it's a really well-priced product for the data it gives you. And I think we're moving into like a time, aren't we, where everything has got a subscription. I've got an eight sleep mattress, which is a complete game changer if you want a good night's sleep. But who would have thought that I would be buying a mattress topper um, with a subscription? Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? But at the same time, we'll spend three, five hundred dollars on tires for a car, but we'll be more reluctant to spend that on a device that keeps us fit and healthy, which is more important. So I think with fitness trackers, the vast majority of them these days have a subscription and Whoop is no different. So you get the Whoop for free. You don't have to pay for this. And every time they bring out a new Whoop, this is a Whoop 4.0. If a Whoop 5.0 comes out, that will just be sent for you uh, and you pay for the subscription. So this is kind of like the opposite of say something like an Apple Watch where you buy an Apple Watch for several hundred, several hundred pounds, but there's no subscription. This is free and you pay a subscription. I put the prices on the screen for the UK. I'm in the UK and then I'll also show the US prices here as well. Um, I would say because I sent mine back and I knew that I wanted it and it was kind of in my life, I just went for the two year subscription uh, just because it was the best value. Whether you go for a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription, and that would be kind of my advice if you're just starting out is either go to pay, pay monthly or pay yearly and you've got a 30 days return window as well so if you buy this you find out it's not for you you can just send it back for a refund i'll put a link in the description and that will take you to whoops website and that will also give you a free month's membership so that will help bring the cost down slightly and it also helps support the channel which is greatly appreciated one thing i have been impressed with from whoop is their customer service so i've had a couple of problems which they've resolved for me the first was a slightly fraying band so uh, the first band i got had a slight fray mark and it was fine and it worked fine but it was just there a little bit of fraying so i sent a picture to whoop and they just sent me a replacement band without any problems the second problem i had was i was getting some unusual data from it so sometimes i'd be like driving for instance and it would show that i'd done like a moderate workout and this was all down to positioning so i was wearing the whoop quite low so i was wearing it about kind of here uh, a bit like where I wear my watch, where it needs to be worn slightly higher up, about here. So there's green lights under here, as you can probably see. And if you can see them, it's not on properly, basically. So now I'm wearing it in the right place. It's been 100% for me. So in conclusion, I really enjoy health and fitness, and I also really like technology. So this is a fantastic device. I think we live in a time now where you can prevent a lot of illnesses and maintain your mobility, your strength and your fitness longer using wearable devices right now, which is my aim. Quite recently, I was watching a boxing match and I jumped up from the sofa, clapped my hands together because my guy had won, slumped back on the sofa and went, yes. And my Apple Watch then gave me a 30 second countdown to say that if I didn't respond to say I was okay, it was gonna call me an ambulance. I mean, I just, I just love things like that. And as much as I know, at some point we're all gonna lose, aren't we? The ultimate loss is death. I think I see more and more people, especially kind of like my age up, where they look like they're starting to lose already. And I'm thinking, you've probably got another 30, 40, 50 years left, and you don't wanna be losing yet. <laughs> so if things like Whoop, can help me lose as close to death as possible, I'll take that. I think it's a really good device. Well, I hope you found this review useful. And if you have, as I've mentioned, I'll put a link in the description to give you a three months membership and that also supports the channel. And until next time, see you soon.